So we're at the Silverstone Sports Engineering Hub today. Again, we're back here with Drag 2 Zero, number one leaders when it comes to like wind tunnel testing. So uh, it's going to be a great day. We've got Claremont going on uh, the rig first. So we're going to do his baseline run, just work out you know like where we are from his fit like yesterday and then the testing that we initially we're going to go through is testing like the stack uh, and the reach of the bike just to see how that feels we've got a good idea of where the position was coming out of the fit but we just want validation from the wind tunnel uh, and then we're going to play around with some of the clothing that claremont's got here today so uh, yeah bring on the testing How are we looking? Yeah, baseline, got his new helmet on. So, uh, initial baseline looks okay. Definitely some work that we can do around the, the setup. I think we can optimize it a little bit more, which will be good. So, uh, the results gonna be in the first result that come through. <laughs> And good. My uh, work position is thanks to you. Natural position to roll in. You know, I think you want to try going shorter. Oh, no. We. No shorter. You don't want to go shorter. No. You still feel like you want to roll the pole a bit. You, but if I could make them like this, I don't see it. No. So we've just tested uh, bringing his hands out a little bit wider just so we can see down the road like more efficiently because uh, we're just trying to work out like you know like being aero is about like you know, it lies in the position out on the course really so uh, yeah. How's it looking? It's looking good yeah he's got a sustainable position now uh, and that's understand you know like that's the art of a lot of this is like you go to the experts to do like wind tunnel testing it's not just Get in this position, it, you know, you come out of it and you've got this CDA that's like super low. You understand now to utilize the position a lot more efficiently, uh, and that's the art of getting aero. Every day is a school day, hey Martin. Say again. Every day is a school Every day. Every day is a school day, always learning from a master. That's <laughs> <laughs> true.
What have you been trying? What have you been trying? So we've just tried the bottle down the chest, found again in Forbes, and uh, now we're just trying the bottle between the arms. Like uh, Director Zero created like a new bottle mount that's going to be able to position the uh, the bottle between like the arms. So uh, yeah, we'll see really what that good. brings us. Oh, last test, what are we doing? So uh, we're just coming to the end of uh, Claremont's testing now, and uh, we've just done some skin suit testing, so we've just done like a your sweep uh, and a different, some different speed. Uh, and now we're doing this final final test of the day, really. So we've got a quite a, we've got a powerful and realistic position that we'll be able to utilize like in like the real world. And, and how's the test been on the whole? Yeah, it's been really good. The guys obviously at Drag to Zero, they know that know the score. Uh, they've looked at like all like the fine details. We've come out with some good CDA readings, like what's realistic, and that's the, the biggest thing, isn't it? It's taking you know like the speed and the actual your angle that we're gonna race at. Uh, and that's what yeah the guys have devised really. So uh, all credit mm. to them. Good bike fit, good aero test, it's a win-win combination. It's been very good today, very productive, um, a good mixture of working on positioning work and equipment. With um, Clever, the, the, key, the key really is that a lot of the time it's, um, it's not always about finding the, 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 the faster options, it's about finding the one that's going to be the most sustainable in the real world. And often it's nice to find things where you can clearly see that it's going to be so much more sustainable when riding, but it's not costing you anything in drag. And often it's also good for riders to know that maybe like um, going forwards or back in the reach, what it actually does. So they, when they're training and then considering the power aspects, you can work out you know, what, it, what is the best combination. The, one of the most time consuming things to get right is the, is the cockpit and it's surprising yeah. how, um, you know, we've been designing cockpits for years now and it's really surprising how whilst the window of adjustment is quite small these days compared to how it used to be, how those subtle changes can make such a big difference to how you can relax your shoulders and your neck and your head and find that sustainable and, and fast position. So today we, yeah, we found, we found some, some gains, but at the same time, the most exciting thing, yeah, there might only be a couple of watts quicker, but we know that in reality, they maybe can work 10 or 15 watts because yeah. they're sustainable. So um, just subtle things like some, 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 the roll in the handlebar, the toe, and then the pitch, and the width, all those small changes can make such a difference. If you, you know, if you imagine doing that to yourself and you can feel it on your shoulders, yeah. what a difference all, 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 all those changes can make. So we, we did all that work and then we did some uh, equipment testing as well. It's, it's so worth having a fit before you go into the wind tunnel because you know, there's, there's, there's so many things you can do and the wind tunnel testing is expensive and it, two hours flies by. So to, to cut out a lot of the particular biomechanical stuff, and also that helps when you're doing the session because immediately you can see the rider is nailed, not moving about on the saddle. There's nothing worse than you know arriving, you know having the saddle in the wrong position. You've done no pressure mapping, and you know so you're, they're, they're forever sliding about. And then you're trying to test a, a subtle change on the front end, and you don't know what's going on. So absolutely, I'll do that every time. It works works really really well.